Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory is to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations unto the elect Akim that are pushing and sincerely enduring with all long suffering and sound doctrine. Um, so what I want to get into is um, I'm going to title this There's Nothing Worse Than a Traitor. Okay, so the reason why I entitled it that, you know, on a on a simple basis, you got niggas in the world, man. Okay, who's and I'm talking, I'm strictly talking about the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans walking the earth today. You know, these are the same people that are the the chosen. You are the chosen people, man. The Most High chose us to be a peculiar people, but guess our people. They've turned their back on the Most High, man. They're a traitor. They sold out to the enemy. Okay? And the, way, the way that they did that is the the works that they're doing. All right? The laws that, the laws that they're keeping. All right? The way, the way that they respond when you bring out scriptures. You know, they, they, um, they push you away. They act like you don't know what you're talking about. And they just all out curse the most high, man. So that's 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 a traitor, man. And then to to get a little dig a little deeper in it, which um I'm gonna get into as well. Um you have certain men that'll be a part of this thing of ours, and then they'll go back off into the world. Now now, now there's certain few cases, you know, where um a brother a brother leaves and he ends up coming back you know there's there's a small amount of cases and the reason why that happens is if you, if you get kicked out of this thing one for one reason or another or if you just leave this thing for one reason or another unless you repent unto your Hashem Shai, you continue and do the work and, and um you acknowledge your faults and you fix them unless you do that then you're considered a traitor man those certain men that went out and they repented, you know, and the Most High showed mercy on them, they you know they eventually were um, grafted back into the fold. But you have just plain niggas that go off and just talk behind your back and make it seem like you're not a man of the Lord. You know, they'll slander you with lying lips. Okay, they'll start going back off into the that old man. The dog returned unto his vomit. You know. So that's why I want to get into this here because um just to remember the scriptures tell us that it tells us to watch every brother cuz every brother were utterly supplant. So when men leave out of this thing, you know because of they you know maybe because of their family or maybe because of their job or you know whatever, you know um They, they, they pretty much, they're going, you're going backwards, man. And you're not, you're not supposed to bite the hand that feeds you. So since 2007, when the apostles hit the YouTube scene, you know, and that knowledge is being kicked out that way, a lot of, a lot of men woke up. A lot of men were fed, you know? So the men that, those same men that um, were watching the apostles and were being fed by the apostles, and you now you know the scriptures, you know, and you know how to serve the Most High. You know how to serve uh, great men with ease, and then you turn your back and then be like, oh, the, you know, they they doing this or, you know. Then you're a traitor, man. You're biting the hand that feeds you, okay. Which the men that do go out and they start making these these accusations, that's exactly what they are as accusations, man. Because there's no proof to back it up. And the reason why there's no proof to back it up because certain things that they say is not so. You know? They just make it up because they're salty. The Most High probably wasn't dealing with them, man. You know? So, hey, that's why I wanted to get into a few of these scriptures. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying. And, um, hey, may you, how about you, man? I wish I deal with me on this lesson to where brothers get fed. So, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 37 and verse 1. It says, every friend saith, I am his friend also, but there is a friend which is only a friend in name. 
Okay, so it don't matter if you know a brother's name and, you know, you've been around a brother X amount of years or whatever. You know, you have friends that are only friends by name. Like if somebody say, oh, do you know such and such? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. You know, but you, you, you don't, you're not a friend of that man. All right? You just know, know a brother by name. You don't really have the love in your heart for that brother, man. It says, is it not a grief unto death? When a companion and a friend is turned to an enemy, you know, and that's exactly why, hey, that's why we behold grievance to this day, man. Not only because the two thirds that are in the world, man, they turn their back on the most high. But then you have uh, so-called brothers who turn out to be niggas and they turn they turn their back on, uh, on the plow, man. You know, and, and they know better. The men that come into this know. That's exactly why I said no, because you know better, man. So for for anybody that's a part of this thing and you um you, you uh, fit the pro the proverb of a dog going back to his vomit, okay? You are you are you turn into an enemy, man. You know, now you're on the other side of the gun line. And and and, and it's to be honest, man. When you get into this truth. And you and you grow close to Aki, man. You you got you you um you get a love for them brothers, man. Because they're holding it down on the same the same way you holding it down on in your house by Shai. When you when you get a bond with a brother and you start loving a brother in the in the spirit of the Most High, you know, and then that that same same person go off and you know, uh sell out, or they go back into the world because. It's taking too long or whatever. It's like, man, you're an enemy now, man. No, you were never worthy of being trusted. All right? And that's that's a, that's a hurtful thing, man, when you see a brother go back, man. But the scripture, what we're supposed to do, the scripture said we're supposed to keep it pushing, man. It said, uh, mourn, uh, weep not for the dead because he had lost the light. So you will love a brother that goes out, but hey, man, if that... If that brother went backwards, you ain't supposed to sit there and, and cry over it, man. You got to keep it pushing, man. Cause that brother is considered an enemy now, man. Especially if he's not repenting for his uh, his wickedness. Especially if he's not acknowledging his sins or acknowledging his faults. You know? That brother's an enemy now, man. So it says, O oh, wicked imagination, whence camest thou... And to cover the earth with deceit. It says there is a companion which rejoices in the prosperity of a friend, but in the time of trouble will be against him. So that's that's exactly what a traitor is, man. Somebody that you and how 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 Jake say in the world, they um they A one day ones. Okay, the ace boom coons. <laughs> ace boom coons. No, pretty people that you're real tight with. You know, when you see them you know, you, you having a good time, you know, y'all drinking together, you know what I'm saying, y'all going and y'all partying together, whatever the case is, and you, but y'all you, enjoying each other's company, y'all happy and shit, but when it's time for the, for, when it's time for the get down, when it's time to get busy, you know, they're not there, man, you know, the, the you know, they'll leave, uh, like, like, uh, Kevin Hart did, um, a stand-up comedy some years ago, and, you know, Somebody was coming to jump his friend, and he took off, man. That's how that's how niggas are in this world. But guess where they guess where niggas get that from, man. You get that from Esau, from uh, from the times of Cain and Abel. He was the first one to turn his back on his brother, man. That's why it says, "Ye are like your father, the devil." And you are that's and that's exactly why it says you're an enemy because our number one enemy is the so-called white people, man. No matter how much they smiling in our face, man, we know that we know their devices. We know they we know their heart because of the scriptures, man. We know their true intentions towards Jake because of the scriptures. They're traitors, man. They don't give a fuck about us. That's the same way niggas are, man. You don't give a, you don't give a damn about the flock. You don't give a damn about Yahabashim Yahushai's will. You don't care, man. So guess what? When you when you take on that mindset, our mindset. That, that are in this thing and that's fighting for real, man. Our mindset is fuck you, man. Just to be blunt. 
because you turned your back on you turned your back on your how about Shimia was shy. You know? You slandered his men. You know, uh, uh you made mockery of his men. And you and you went back and serving the devil, man. So hey, a traitor is never in, in the, even in the world, man. When niggas turn into traitors, man. You ain't you ain't able to be trusted. In the world, sometimes they even, might even knock you off, man. They might even kill you, man, for turning your back, man. But when it comes to this truth, if you turn your back, man, the Most High is gonna the Most High is gonna deal with you, man, because he's the he's the true uh the true avenger of the uh the elect, man. So when a nigga turn his back to hell with him, man, unless that unless that man repent, and the Most High uh gives him the mercy to be grabbed back in. That's the only way, man. Till then, it's, it's to hell with you niggas, man. You're the biggest traitors on earth. All right, but um, I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna just leave it there, man. But you no know, reading on and it's 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 a it's a beautiful chapter, man, because it tells you about counselors too, man. No false counselor, counselors that are people that's gonna tell you, and this falls into the category of brothers too. Where they'll tell you to do certain things and then they're not about that life, man. That's also that's somebody who don't care about you. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, man, we care about our people, man. But we, re we really are concerned about the elect. Yes, we love our people, man. We cut we curse their ass out too. Because they do look at look how they acting. Look what they're doing in the streets of Jerusalem. Alright, we love them. But these niggas turned their back on the Lord, so fuck them, man. You know, until the, until the Most High put them back in the right mindset, which is going to have to be in the kingdom of heaven, it's, it's fuck them until then, man. You know? So with that being said, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors unto the apostles, a great millstone, and salutations unto you, you elect Akim that are enduring until the end. With that being said, I say Shalom.